Hey guys, got a quick video guide on how to change a CPU on a socket 2011 motherboard version 1, version 2, um, at least for server platforms. It is a little different than changing it on like a, a socket 1155 or similar motherboard. Um, so, you know, just want to be careful you don't bend pins because, you know, that can just ruin the motherboard and just, you know, give you a bad day all around. So, um, you know, first of all, make sure you unscrew the um, heat sink here. Um, this one has four screws and I kind of like to, you know, remove them in a crisscross pattern just a little bit at a time. You know, just make sure you don't put too much pressure on this on one corner of the CPU. And then I've already unscrewed it mostly, but then you can kind of, you know, take the cooler off and just set it aside. Um, and then usually it's probably a good idea to uh, clean up the CPU. Um, just so you don't get this thermal paste everywhere, you know, just a tissue could work. Um, if you want to be a little more thorough, um, you know, rubbing alcohol can also be uh, a good idea. So we'll just give this nice uh, clean, and that should be good. Um, so after that's clean, uh, you've noticed the retention bracket. There is actually two clips instead of just the one on the standard um, socket 1155 and similar motherboard. Um, so you, uh, so if you try to remove this one first, you can't. It's actually kind of locked. I mean, you can, you know, push it down and try to unclip it, but there's this little pin here that's going to block you from getting it out. So actually, what you want to do is come over this side first, and you kind of push down and out at the same time. Um, I don't know if you saw that, so you can kind of do that. But once you do that, you can only bring it out so far. It's now locked in place by the other side. So now that this one's up the pin has been moved out of the way and you can now push this other one down again kind of down and out and it should come all the way out like that now you're going to want to try and you know pull that out but it's not going to move as you know especially with the CPU in there so again now what you want to do is push down on this one and this flap should start to come up and then now you can pull it out and the CPU is now free so now is, the, now is the part you want to be really careful because you don't want to bend any of these pins. Um, it's best to grab the CPU kind of by the sides here. And notice the orientation of the old one. There's that little triangle right there. There's, it's not going to be on the other three corners, but it is right here. So that's going to be where you want to line it up, the new one that you're putting in. Or if this is a fresh motherboard, you have, don't have a CPU in there yet. There's a little notch over here where the plastic is missing. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's missing there and line it up with that. Um, there is not one over here. Uh, you're not, this is the only way you're going to be able to put the, mother, the CPU into the motherboard, but if you force it, you know, you could cause damage and people have definitely done that before. So again, I like to kind of just grab with my two thumbs and pull it out on the, with my other hand here, just because the angle, so grab with two thumbs and just pull it out like that. And then you'll see the pins are still good. And kind of to reverse the process, we're going to just put the CPU back in. So just carefully make sure you line it up. You know, then there's little, these, there's little notches um, right here, 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 and here. And then so, you know, make sure those are lined up. If, you know, you should be okay if you just rest it on there and it's not perfectly aligned. But don't put any pressure down it because you will build bend those pins. So now we're going to push this metal back over. And it's not going to be able to be lined up yet. And we're going to kind of put these pins back in reverse order. So again, now take this one and push it down and kind of over like that. And see, now it's locked into place. And then now you can push this other one down and lock it into place. Okay. And now the CPU should be installed. Uh, and then you want to reinstall your heat sink. Um, but put some new thermal paste on there like some you know, Arctic silver or something, uh, you can get, you know, there's all kinds of CPU paste and people, you know, say some people like, you know, some versus the other. I've just had Arctic silver that are laying around, so that's what I'll use. Um, do that and also probably clean off um, your uh, cooler too. You don't want to reuse that if you don't have to. And just give it a good wipe down and use, you know, again, use some rubbing alcohol if you want to get it really clean. And then just reinstall and then make sure you kind of go in a crisscross um, pattern. Um, and just do a little at a time until it's tight. With the 2011 motherboards, you should be able to, it should come to a point where it stops and then you can't go any further. That's tight enough 
Um, aftermarket coolers probably have different, you know, refer to the manual to see how to do that. But, um, you know, just pretty easy, nothing too crazy. Just, you know, want to be careful not to bend the pins. So, uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful. And if you liked it, give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.